All right. So we'll get started with our yoga practice today. Just um, relaxing into our space. We're going to have a nice, um, relaxing, deep stretch today. So today's class should be very restorative. We're going to hold our stretches, hold our poses, and really focus on our breath and just keeping ourselves present and in the moment. So go ahead and just observe how you're coming to your practice this morning. Notice everything in the body. Notice the areas that are holding stress or tension. Notice areas that already feel relaxed and like they're already ready to just be soft and peaceful. Notice the areas where you know you usually store tension and just see if anything's different today or if it's the usual tightness in the shoulders perhaps, stiffness in the jaw, fidgety fingers, or maybe you're feeling a little more relaxed this morning. So just notice how you're starting and don't um, worry about how you think you should feel as you start. Just observe. Observe without judgments, not being attached to what you find, just allowing everything to be as it is right now. And then just start to allow the spine to grow up tall, bringing the top of the head up towards the ceiling straightening out the back of the neck as much as possible, keeping the chin tucked in slightly, and start allowing the shoulders to droop down away from the ears. If it helps to notice the contrast, you can bring your shoulders up for a quick moment and then just release them completely so you can really notice the difference there. Let the hands be heavy in your lap or even down by your sides. That can help your Shoulders to relax a little bit better if you let your hands be heavy down by your sides. Having the palms down on the knees can help you if you're wanting to feel a little bit more grounded today. Or maybe you're hoping to receive something from this practice. You can think of that when you think of your intention for your class today. But in that case, you might want to rest palms up just to show an open energy and help the shoulders really just soften. So just see what feels right to you for today. Start to soften the muscles in the chest and in the stomach, letting them move freely with your breath. Maybe placing a hand on the heart or the stomach for a moment to really just feel the up and down, the in and out, and letting the hands relax again. Releasing tension in the hips, just letting the hips release and rest heavy on the chair. Knowing the chair will support you. The hips don't have to hold themselves here. They can just be soft and calm. And then letting the lower legs just drape down towards the floor. Feet are heavy, whether or not they touch the floor, just let them relax down releasing the toes, noticing if there's any fidgeting happening in the toes. Just notice. Just allow yourself to be here and be present. Just giving yourself the space to arrive to your practice as you are. Even if you're not feeling completely centered and grounded as you start. Be gentle with yourself, be patient with yourself, and just let yourself get there naturally. Bringing your focus to the breath, just notice your breathing pattern this morning. Are you breathing slow and deep as you start your practice? Or maybe a little bit quicker? Again, don't be attached to how you think you should be breathing right now. Just allow it to happen however it's happening. 
just observe for now. Are you breathing in through your nose or mouth? Can you feel the rise and fall of the chest and stomach? Notice the air coming in and out. And then just notice the thoughts that are running through your mind right now without trying to shove them away all at once. Just acknowledge them and then release your hold on them. You can even imagine just holding out your hands, hold like you're holding on tight to something and just imagine them, imagine your hands just opening, letting go, releasing the tension, releasing the stress of having to hold on to something so tightly. Just letting your thoughts go by, not worried about what they are, just letting them be. And then just before we start our warm ups, coming up with an anchor for your mind for today. A lot of the times we will use the breath to keep us grounded and focused. We've been talking about using our inhale and exhale meditation to bring us back to the moment anytime our mind starts to drift. So maybe you stick with that for today, just coming back to I am breathing in, I am breathing out as we go through our practice. Or maybe some sort of an affirmation or a mantra. I am loved, I am safe, I am peaceful. Something that suits you for today. Just think of a meditation that you can repeat in your mind so every time you notice a thought that's starting to cause you to hold on to it, you can just return yourself to your meditation, to your anchor, to your mantra and just let it go. So taking your time, we'll begin with our neck rolls. We'll inhale, grow the spine up nice and tall. Exhale, drops the chin to the chest. Inhale, brings you up ear over shoulder. Exhale, down through center. Inhale, up to the opposite side. Pulling at your own speed, matching your breath. Letting the head be heavy. Letting the shoulders be still. And just noticing how these first few stretches feel to you. Just using the exercise to really get in touch with the breath before we get started. Bridging the gap between your earlier morning and your yoga practice. Just easing yourself in. Inhale up, exhale down. Customizing any way you like. Pausing, if that would be comfortable for you, or tipping the head to the back, doing a few full circles. This is an exercise we start each of our classes with, so you might know where your usual areas of stiffness are. You might know where you usually like to hold and take a few breaths, but keep an open mind also. Something might be different today, depending on the weather, the activities from yesterday or the way you slept last night, things can change. So just keep an open mind and really focus on how your body's feeling today. Noticing which areas might need a little extra attention. And just continuing with your inhale to come up. Exhale to lower you down. Head is heavy, shoulders are still. Allow the expression to start to soften. Eyelids, eyebrows, jaw. Just 
Just let everything start to release in preparation for your practice. Just letting the breath carry you through the movements. Nice and gently, side to side. Pausing anytime you like. Just really enjoying this gentle movement. Few more breaths like this. So just get the most out of the exercise. Enjoy these last few moments. Just really get the most you can out of this simple exercise. And then taking the head to the chest, slowly taking your time, letting yourself get there naturally, just holding for a few breaths, spine up tall, head is heavy. We'll lift the gaze center, dropping the hands. We'll inhale, bring the hands up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. And then we'll go ahead and just release them to the knees. Inhale, come up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Working your way down slow and gentle, allowing the hip flexors to release here shoulders. Hold and breathe. So you can stay up on your elbows here in your forward fold. You can come down and reach for the floor or the ankles. You can switch back and forth. Just pay attention as you hold the stretch to how the body's reacting. Make any changes you need to as we go. You might um, find that you like to keep your head up and supported like this. Perhaps if you have a runny nose, allergies, or a sensitive neck, you can keep your head up. Or if you feel you need a deeper stretch through the backs of the shoulders and the spine, you can just really release and let the head drop. So just notice what would feel good to you today. And let yourself settle into the pose. And then just start to notice your thoughts. Notice if you're staying in the moment, in the stretch with your breath, or if your mind is starting to wander. Remind yourself of your mantra or your anchor for today's practice. And just bring your focus back to that, repeating it over and over in your mind. Not worrying too, too much about the words themselves right now. Just repeating them to yourself, keeping yourself here. Keeping yourself grounded so you're not worried about later or stressed about earlier. You can just relax into this moment where we are now. A few more breaths in your forward fold. Observing the stretch, noticing if it feels the same as it usually does or if anything might be a little different today. Just give the body what it needs. A few more breaths. Nice deep breaths as you hold. Fill the lungs completely and empty them out all the way getting rid of any stale air nice deep inhale exhale completely we'll take one more inhale together on your exhale slowly start to work your way back up to seated and then we'll go ahead and take the legs out wide for a few um, stretches and in a straddled position. So 
They don't have to be all the way out to the side, just diagonal is fine. We're just gonna be getting a little stretch through the inner thighs here. And as we go through all of these poses that we're gonna do with the legs wide, just focus on engaging the inner thigh muscles and keeping the knees right over the toes. So they're not falling forward at all. Just keep them right um, in line with the toes. Um, if this isn't comfortable for your hips to open like this, you can do um, modifications. So we're gonna do a forward fold first. So you can go ahead and do this with the legs together if that's more comfortable for you. So when you're ready, we'll inhale tall, exhale, melting down. So like you can stay up on the elbows, you can hold on to the chair, or you can come all the way down reaching for the floor, whatever is comfortable for you. And then just bring the focus to your breath and let yourself settle in here, take your time. You can move around to kind of see what arm position feels good for you. Keep those knees pressing open over the toes. Once again, return yourself back to your mantra for today's practice. Keeping yourself here. Starting to let the tension just release. So we should be feeling a nice stretch through the inner thighs and around the hips. And since we're in a forward fold, perhaps in the shoulders and the back as well. As usual, any low back problems, just keep your back as flat as you can to keep yourself safe. We'll take a few more breaths here. Nice long inhales and complete exhales. A few more like that. Inhale, exhale, and once more. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale slowly brings you back up to the center. We're going to keep the knees wide if you're there to come into a few side stretches. So if you are doing these with the legs together, you can, um, you can do them just the same. That will be fine too if that's more comfortable for you. But we're just going to go up and over to each side. So let's inhale, bring the hands all the way up together. Exhale, I'm gonna drop my left hand down to my left knee. Inhale, we'll come up nice and tall. And exhale, coming over to the side. So I'm gonna lean on my elbow. You can stay up on your hand or whatever is comfortable for you. Just focusing on the stretch through the ribs and the side of the body. Pressing both hips down towards the chair, using the fingers to pull up and out of the chair, making that nice rainbow curve. And then we'll inhale back to center. Exhale, other arm drops, nice and slow. Match your breath. Inhale, tall. Exhale, over. Great. Really pulling, pushing. Nice release around the ribs and the shoulders here. And inhale, center. One more time, each side. Exhale, drop. The inhale brings you up. Exhale, drops you over. Good. And inhale, up. Last one. Exhale, down. Inhale, tall. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to the heart. Great. We'll go ahead and drop the hands to the knees next. So I'm going to have um, the fingers on the insides of the knees, thumbs on the outsides. I'm going to kind of put my weight into my hands and just bring one shoulder forward um, just to get a nice stretch through that upper back, middle of the shoulders there. 
So the gaze can go over that shoulder if that's comfortable for you. It doesn't have to go quite as far as mine. It's just until you get a stretch, a nice stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Great. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. We'll bring the knees together, just circle out the wrists. Relax the fingers. Great. All right, we're gonna stretch out the backs of our um, hips. So we'll come into our pigeons. You can cross your ankles or you can rest your ankle on your knee. We're just gonna go to one side and then the other today. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. So just be careful when you bring your leg up, um, it's kind of easy to just release and kind of sit back into the chair. So even as the leg comes forward, try to still sit up nice and tall. If the knee or if the ankle rather has to slide out, that's fine. So inhale nice and tall. Exhale, melting over that leg into your pigeon, nice and slow and gentle. Great stretch for the back of the hip. And again, just find the hand position that works for you. And you don't have to commit to one position. You can switch back and forth because it may change as you hold in the stretch. You can relax the head down or keep it supported. Whatever you find to be more comfortable. Hold and breathe. Bring your mind back to your anchor, your mantra. Repeating those words that you picked at the beginning of class over in your mind. Allowing yourself to ground down into this moment. Allowing yourself to drop down into your body, to be present, knowing that you're right where you need to be right now. Not late for anything. Not having other things that you should be doing other than just breathing, just being. Just taking this moment to recharge, to free yourself. A few more breaths. Try to relax into the pose as much as you can. We'll take one more inhale. And exhale will bring you up slowly. Gently releasing the leg down. We'll switch to the other side, crossing the ankles or placing the ankle on the knee. Taking your time, the inhale brings you up. Exhale melts you over. Hold and breathe. Noticing that this side might feel different than the other. Just going through your observations. Your observations are there to keep you present not for you to judge or criticize yourself, just to keep you in the moment. Notice how the stretch feels, where you feel it the most. Notice what are the differences or similarities between the left side and the right side. Notice 
notice any tension that's starting to build up anywhere else in the body as you stretch. Sometimes if we are holding on to our leg, our hands might tense up or if we're leaning on our elbows, that might cause tension to creep back into our shoulders. So just pay attention to the whole body, even though we're just stretching the back of the hip right now. Just make an effort to release the shoulders. Keep the expression soft. Keep the toes relaxed. Return yourself back to your mantra. And just slowly breathe your way through the moments. Breathe your way through the pose. Imagine you're sending the breath to the area where you're feeling the most tension right now and just helping it to relax. You might find you start to get more comfortable in the stretch as you hold. You might also find that it gets to be a bit much and you want to come up for a rest. We are holding the poses a little bit longer today. So if you need to come up in between and then slowly work your way back down, you are invited to do that. Just do whatever feels good for your body. Nice deep breath. Just a few more breaths here. Nice and deep. Try to breathe all the way into the belly. We'll take one more inhale. Exhale, slowly start to rise back up. We'll release the leg and just release the hips. You can kind of do it. A wiggle side to side or whatever feels good for you here just kind of releasing good okay we'll come in for a few rounds of sun breath which is bringing the focus back to your breathing nice deep breathing so we'll go ahead and drop the hands to the sides we'll inhale them up overhead exhale heart center Great, just go at your own speed, match your breath here, really filling up the lungs completely, emptying them out each time. Taking care that the shoulders don't rise up as you bring the arms up, just the hands rise, shoulders stay down. Great. We'll take one more together, then when you're finished, just rest with the hands at the heart. Take your time. And then when you get here, we're just gonna come into a twist. Any low back problem, you can just maybe turn your head side to side and get the nice stretch through the neck. Otherwise, we're going to inhale nice and tall. Exhale, we're gonna bring the opposite elbow towards the opposite knee. It's okay if they don't touch, um, just bringing them towards that direction. And then the gaze will go over the back shoulder. So I'm bringing my left elbow to my right knee and gazing up over my right shoulder. Holding here. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, opposite side. Moving up and over. And again, inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the hands. Great. We'll work our way up to standing next. So let's drop the hands. Inhale to come up, bring the hands overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. You can just take a quiet moment here to yourself. Reflect on how you're feeling so far in your practice. 
noticing any differences, any tension that's been released or any new tension that started to build. Just refocusing, coming back to your mantra, back to your breath. And letting your heart just be happy and peaceful. Just knowing that you have this time for yourself to just breathe, to just relax. One more inhale. And exhale, release. We're going to do a stretch for the backs of the legs next. So we're going to put the um, foot up on the chair. So you might want to face the seat of the chair. You might want to face the back of the chair, depending on what kind of a chair you're working with. So modification, you can just kind of um, put the toe up on the um, uh, leg of the chair and dig the heel down into the ground. And that will still give you a really nice stretch. I'm already feeling it just from standing like this in the back of the leg, which is what we're going for. If you have a beam running across, you can lift it up to there, or if you want to just go for it and put the leg up on the seat of the chair, you can do that too. Any of those are good options, so just see what feels right to you. And then just take care that you're not opening at all. Make sure the hips are right next to each other. The toes should be right in front of the nose. We'll take a forward fold from here. So we'll inhale, grow up nice and tall. Exhale, just start to relax down so you can hold on to the leg here or you can reach for the chair if you're able. If you are just having the toe up on the leg of the chair, you might like to do it facing the back of the chair. And that way you can use the back of the chair for support. So just um, figure out what works best for you. We're just aiming to get a nice stretch through the hamstring here. So whatever you need to do to achieve that comfortably and then we'll just hold, take a few breaths. You can play around with having the foot pointed or flexed, but stretch through the bottom of the leg. Definitely intensifies when you flex the foot and pull the toes back towards you. And it can be good to stretch the top of the feet too and do a little point. So you might try switching back and forth and just see what feels good. You might try moving the hips around a little bit in your stretch. Even though we're aiming to stretch the back of the leg, we're still affecting the whole body. So you might get a nice stretch in your hips, just kind of moving around, maybe in the low back as well. A few more breaths here. And then we'll take one more inhale. And exhale, we'll start to come up. And then slowly take your time, move the leg, and just shake it out a little bit. And then we'll move on to the other side. Keeping in mind, you might prefer to do something different on the other side. So whatever works for you is fine. Just remember your alignment. Hips face directly towards the chair, so their hip bones are right next to each other. The toe is right in front of your nose. And then we'll inhale to grow up tall. Exhale, resting over the leg. Just go however far you like. And just noticing anything that's different from the first side. Hold and breathe. Again, you can point and flex the foot, switching back and forth. Just do what feels good to you here. Bringing your focus to your mantra as you rest in your stretch. Bringing the breath all the way into the belly. Exhaling completely. A few more breaths. Start to let yourself soften as you hold the stretch. We'll take one more inhale. 
exhale slowly start to work your way back up and release the leg you can pedal through the feet just shake it out great all right we'll come around to um, start on our tree pose so wherever you like your chair to be for that is fine take your time to come into mountain pose in mountain we're thinking about our alignment letting the toes really relax letting the spine be tall everything around the spine is just softening and melting maybe you have a small bend in the knees and as we move into our tree pose go ahead and find a focal point something that's eye level when you look straight out you can see it easily if that's something that helps you to balance and then take your time working your way to your tree pose perhaps keeping both feet on the ground one foot at the ankle just below or just above the knee just taking your time testing your balance if you like to but you're welcome to keep both hands or one hand on the chair And then maybe trying to add in some movement through the arms today, any pattern you like. If you want to do the movement, but it's a little tricky to balance, you can keep one hand on the chair or you can challenge your balance into both. Whatever feels best to you. Matching your movement to your breath. Just letting yourself feel rooted in your tree pose. If you fall out of it, just knowing that's part of it, that's part of your practice. It doesn't have to look pretty, just being determined, taking your time, working your way back up if you need to. Holding your tree pose for as long as you like and then we'll transition into the other side. Taking your time. Same thing. Your poses, again, might be different on each side. And that is okay. Find a hand position you like. Don't forget to make use of your focal point if that's something that helps you really spreading out the toes using the whole foot to stand on. Adding a movement through the arms if you like to. Just letting yourself feel grounded and rooted and strong and tall. Staying in your tree pose as long as you like. And then working your way down. Great. Okay, we're gonna um, work our way through some more stretches. We're not gonna float as much today. Um, we're just gonna continue with our more restorative theme and folds, um, some poses starting in a forward fold so you can turn to face the seat of your chair. Take your time. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale to bring the hands up overhead. Exhale, hands through the heart as we fold towards the chair. Just going as low as you like. Keeping the back flat if you have any issues there. Otherwise, you can just rest heavy, folding over the legs. Keeping the elbows on the chair or reaching for the ground or the legs. Just like our seated forward folds, the head can be supported or resting down. Hold and breathe. Notice where the mind goes during these static stretches. Notice the thoughts that are going by. When you find yourself attaching to one, you can go back to that visualization of just opening your hands and releasing that thought, letting it leave you 
in peace. Returning yourself back to your mantra, back to your anchor for the practice today. Just letting yourself be peaceful here. Just resting and breathing. Feeling the tension escape from the back of the body as you hold in your forward fold. A lot of tension can be stored in the back of the body between the hips and the backs of the legs, the shoulders. This is a great pose to do if you're experiencing a lot of stress or nervousness, resting in the forward fold can be very beneficial. Just breathe here. Even in your forward fold, filling and emptying the lungs completely. Allowing yourself to just drop deeper into the moment. And as we hold, maybe you do decide you want to add in a little bit of movement. Maybe you bend one leg at a time. By keeping both heels on the floor and bending one knee at a time, I'm really getting a nice stretch through that, the back of the straight leg. So you might try that and see how that feels for you. You might try lifting one heel at a time, stretching the toes and the feet. Or you might prefer to just hold nice and still. Just honor where you're at today. We'll take one more deep breath. On your exhale, we'll rise up into table pose. So bringing the wrists right under the shoulders as long as that's comfortable for you. Otherwise, you can hold on to the sides of the chair, open up onto your fists. If you're on your hands, just spread the fingers, try to distribute the weight so you're not dumping it all into your wrists. Press into the thumb and the pointer fingers. We'll go through a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhale to arch and look up. Exhale, round and look down. Nice and gentle, go at your own speed. Great. Just really focusing on the breath, matching the movement and the breath. Just resting in a neutral position when you're ready. We'll come into a lunge position from here. I'm gonna step my left foot back first. So front leg will be bent, back leg will be straight. The important thing about this front leg is just that the knee doesn't um, wobble or go over the toes. Try to keep that knee right over the ankle here. So just hold and get a nice stretch through the back of the leg. Breathing. And then we'll go ahead and take the back toes. We're gonna open them up to the side like this. I'm just gonna bring my foot in so you can see, but toes are pointing to the side. We'll stretch this front knee. We're coming into triangle pose. So we'll peel that top arm up. So and my left foot back, that means my uh, left arm is high. And you can keep your hand on the chair like this, or you can come into a full triangle, reaching for the leg, just gazing up towards that hand. Nice stretch all around the hips, side of the body, the chest. Triangle is one of my favorites. One more inhale. 
exhale, we'll bend the leg, turn the toes back around to your lunge. Inhale the back leg in, bend the knees, we'll inhale standing up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Great, just take a moment. We're gonna do lunge and triangle with the other leg. So just take a moment here, hands at the heart. Meditating within. Forward fold. So we'll drop the hands. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, forward fold. Taking your time. Folding in a forward fold for a moment. And then when you're ready, we'll come into lunge on the other side. So I'm stepping my right foot to the back. Bending the left leg, the knee is right over the ankle. Hold and breathe. Nice stretch around the hips, back of the leg. A few more breaths. Great, then from here, we'll take the back toes, turn them open to the side, stretch that front leg, straighten the left arm, reaching up with the right triangle pose. Hold here. One more inhale. Exhale, turn back down to your lunge. Inhale, the back leg in. Exhale, hold. Inhale, bend the knees coming up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Great. Now, we'll take our time. We're just going to work our way back down into our chair and start getting ready for our meditation. Take your time, relax down. Just feel that initial relaxation as you let yourself relax down into your chair. And just try to keep that feeling with you as we go through our body scan. Just letting yourself be peaceful here. Just allow yourself to be comfortable in your chair right now. Don't worry about having the spine up tall. You can just relax in any way that's comfortable for you right now. Find a comfortable position for the hands, for the feet. Make any adjustments of the chair or clothing that needs to be made so that you're able to really relax and be still throughout the body scan and meditation. Slowly start to let your eyes close as long as that's comfortable for you. And as you do, allow the rest of the face to soften as well. Letting the eyelids be relaxed. Letting, if there's tension in the eyebrows, allow it to release. Noticing the jaw, the tongue, any tension maybe in the around the eyes or around the head, from the jaw, just allow it all to release. On your next exhale, just let go of anything you're holding in these areas around the face. 
Just imagine any unpleasant feeling just leave in your body with your next exhale. And working your way down the neck, notice the shoulders. If it helps, you can do what we did at the beginning of class, just kind of lift them up and then drop them down so you can feel the contrast there. Just let the shoulders start to droop. Allow the chest to start to relax. Feel that rise as you inhale and the release as you exhale. Notice the backs of the shoulders. And then all down the arms. Let all the muscles and the arms relax. And allow the hands to rest heavy. Fingers nice and limp. Bringing the attention to the belly. Softening the muscles in your center. Allowing the stomach to expand as you inhale and release as you exhale. Bringing the focus down into the hips, just letting them melt down into the chair, completely supported, not needing to hold themselves any certain way. Just melting down. Bringing the attention down into the knees, all the way down the legs, into the toes. Letting the feet rest heavy, letting the toes be still. And just letting all the tension that was stored in your body, let it go. On your next exhale, just imagine it leaving you. Leaving you here in your chair, completely relaxed and peaceful. And ready for your meditation. For our meditation today, we'll be doing a guided visualization. So just keeping the eyes closed as long as that's comfortable for you. I'll give you some images to imagine and just notice what comes to mind as you hear the words. Start painting a picture. And as we go through this, you may picture somewhere you've been before. You might recall a memory and meditate on that. Or maybe for the sake of the meditation, you invent somewhere that just exists in your mind that you can escape to anytime you wish. So for our visualization, imagine yourself on a small boat, maybe a canoe or a kayak, on a small pond, on a beautiful summer day. Start to picture the water around you. Start to picture the plants that grow up out of the lake, the tall grass, the trees surrounding it. Notice all the colors that you see, the color of the water, the plants, the sky. Maybe you can see some fish swimming under the boat or a frog on a lily pad. Start to feel the way the boat rises and falls over and over underneath you. Just rocking you up and down, side to side, very gently. 
Feel the warm sun on your face. Maybe imagine dipping your hand into the water. Noticing if it feels cool or warm to you. Smell the fresh air. And just fill in the blanks. Maybe you're seeing birds in the sky. Maybe you're seeing other people on the shore or in a nearby boat. Just start to paint the full picture, filling in any details that weren't covered specifically. And just start to create a place that feels beautiful and peaceful to you. Again, maybe it's somewhere you've been before. Maybe you're just creating somewhere right now. But allow yourself to be fully merged in the visualization. Notice everything that you can feel, hear, see, smell, and taste as you're here on this beautiful, peaceful lake. Just allowing any negativity to release down into the water, leaving you completely peaceful, completely calm, and completely relaxed. Continuing to hold this picture in your mind, we'll rest quietly for about one minute. I'll keep an eye on the clock so that you can just escape into your visualization. And I'll call you back when it's time to come back into the room. Slowly starting to bring yourself back to the present. Maybe wiggling the toes and fingers. Slowly opening the eyes as we move the hands and feet. Stretching out the arms and legs if you like to. And then just bringing yourself back to center in your chair for one final sun breath together when you're ready. Dropping the hands, inhale the hands up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me.